Keep your head, Bosch. All right, folks, how's it going? We are back out, and if you haven't already guessed, we are heading up Ben Vorlick and Stuka Croy. The plan is to get a summit camp tonight, and I've also got a new tent to show you. I've got the Floating Cloud 2 by 3FUL. So uh, it's a two-man effort, it's pretty big. We left Edinburgh just after one o'clock, but sadly, there was a couple of accidents on Edinburgh Bypass and then the M9 going past Falkirk and it's quarter past six and I think we're going to struggle for time to get to Stuka Croin tonight but we'll see, we've got four hours solid daylight Piste. We've been going just over two hours now, and we are literally just under the summit, two hundred meters of ascent. And boom, we're there. Winds have picked up a bit as well. So uh, we'll be looking for shelter somewhere. Yes, yes Mish Money Penny. Do you see the beast? Do you have it in your sight? Yes, Mish Money Penny. This should present no significant problems. Red Bosch, with my glasses. folks it's a uh, quarter past nine we're down at the Bialak and we're just looking for somebody to pitch now we know it's going to be too windy up on the second Munro so we're going to try find some shelter around about the Bialak somewhere so this here is Stuka Croin looking good in the evening sun we really are going to pitch down here but this here this little but looks rather nice but it's another little climb both of us are starving uh, but aye, we shall see right folks it is 20 to 10 after a bit of wandering around we've settled here still a wee bit in the wind but it's sheltered enough so yeah I've got the floating cloud effort Kev's got his Lanshan 1.5 effort.
Righty oh folks, I'm all set up and I'm in my new tent It's obscenely massive, I don't know if I'm just used to uh, the backpacking tents but this is huge The headroom, I'm not even in the centre yet <laughs> So much room um, It's a two person tent obviously And I'm in the middle <coughs> Here, I'll just show you all my stuff down to one side There's space there And there's still room you could easily get two people in here It's a double vestibule, I've got my rucksack out there I've got everything else inside Cooking here Not got a double zip, which is a bit unfortunate And the little toggles are not elastic So two minor down points, but yeah It weighs 2.3 kilograms, I know that's heavy, but it's a two person tent it's big and it's spacious and you get a ground sheet with that as well and the ground sheet is roughly 230 grams so that would take it nearer to 2 kilograms but yeah, um, thanks to Camper Lists for sending this for review I'm going to do a proper review because obviously the light's failing and I've not showed you how to pitch it properly or anything like that but it's just a very brief overview tonight while well, I wait for my dinner to uh, hydrate but uh, yeah, I shall bring you back in the morning and let you know how I get on. Catch us. Good morning campers. It's just gone 5 o'clock in the morning and uh, the wind has got us both up. Did get a decent sleep to be honest, but uh, aye, I've not poked my head out yet, but Kevin says there's some inversions kicking about. I've got a Belvita biscuit, oh I had to spit it out, it was disgusting It's been in and out of my bag for probably a, the best part of a year and I think it's gone off but It's left a horrible chemical taste in my mouth, yuck So I need to get some porridge on the go in a minute well, I used my summer sleeping bag and my, slum, my slumber, my summer mat and I was a bit worried to be cold last night but As it happens I was fine, uh, checked my watch, it's 13 degrees at the moment so the comfort rating of this is 12 so uh, it's a cheap Tesco thing I bought a while back and I've got the cloud base from Alkit We've no trace there you go folks, other than a bit of flat grass, leave no trace. Let's roll. Okay folks, we're uh, on our way up Stuka Croin. Stuka Croin. It's going to be a nice day but the winds are a little bit fresh. And this is Kev's sort of bogey hill. He's been up here, this will be his fifth time. And he's just turned back for one reason or another Run out of time or poor yeah. weather So, fifth time lucky for Kev hopefully yeah. Got a wee scramble up the prow To do first Then once you've done that it's a short walk Up to the uh, summit cairn Alright, so the path Leads into this boulder field Just make out Kev here I believe we go to the right and then up Scrambling on the grass Okay, that's us on the summit of Stukakroy. 
10 past 7 in the morning. Superb boss. If you're just in the Munro bagging circuit, you'd actually retrace your steps and you pick up a bypass path, it avoids the prow, and it goes round the back of uh, Ben Volick and eventually back to your car. We're actually going to go for a Corbett because it's only like 7 o'clock in the morning and the Corbett lies to the east of Ben Volick. The name escapes me, I think it's something like Milna Ferner, something like that. So we're going to drop down into the Glen and then over to the Corbett. So we're heading down this really nice ridge and it's a ridge you can take from Bracklin Falls near Callander and it gives you a bike, a big long day out. You avoid all the crowds. So that's worth considering as well as an alternative. I don't know if the camera can make that out, but there's a wee ptarmigan. There you go, two tummies. Right, we uh, dropped off the ridge about 15 20 minutes ago. This was a route here, and we just came to the sort of uh, the right of that sort of sandy, stony chute and then came down. It was a little bit steep, but not too bad. So the next objective is to go past Kev there. There's a wee building down there somewhere. And then we're going to start blasting up the Corbett here. That is your plan. And I've got my milk bottle sparrow legs out. Gosh. So we've got Ben Volock here, which we did last night. Got the cloud inversions. Camped somewhere in here. And then there's Stuka Croin. We scramble up the prow. We've uh, just had a little breather at the river there, stocked up in some fresh water and now we're making our way up this Corbett Mielna Firna. Now, we're at about 450 metres, so that gives us approximately another 400 metres of ascent to bag this Corbett. Uh, so it's just, looks like it's going to be grassy slopes for now. We've seen yesterday there's a lot of peat hags on the other side, so That'll be fun to negotiate. But what I'll do is I'll just get up a little bit higher, get the views back, and then I'll bring you back as well. Oh, that's exactly 11 o'clock and the Corbett is in the bag. That was quite hard fought, that one. Just waiting on Kev to catch up and then it's a wrap o'clock, I reckon. A bit early for lunch, but I need it. I reckon Kev will as well. What's the time, Kev? Wrap o'clock. Yes. Get them out. Oh, I've got them, eh? You've got them, sunshine. Okay, we're just negotiating our way off this Corbett through the bog and peat hags. Don't know if you can hear that underfoot. <laughs> but anyway, we're going to get down off this uh, hill, pick up the path we're on yesterday. So it seems like a good time to wrap up the video. So I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers!